Hi everyone. So let's continue with the second screen. Um, so in this video, we're going to be working on creating our scroll view. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is, I just noticed this, but it says, welcome to my hobbies with a question mark. Um, let's edit that out. And I'm going to go into activity main and just remove this right here. We don't really need this question mark. Uh, so yeah, this looks pretty good. To create our second view, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on res, click on new, click on activity, and we're going to click on MT views activity right here. And for this view, we're going to call it the hobbies activity. So in this page is where we're going to list out all of our hobbies and I'm going to click on finish. So just let this load and have the Gradle sync in progress and then we'll get back once this is all ready. So now that it's all set up, we're going to click on our hobbies layout and we're just going to do um, the regular stuff in here. Um, by that, I mean, we're going to throw in our image view and this is going to be our cat idol. So I'm just going to minimize this and I'm just going to work on the layout a little bit. So I've already kind of gone through this in uh, the previous videos for how we set this up. And it's just going to be super simple. I am going to go in here and in here I am going to write background, make sure it's white. And um, the next thing I want to throw in is a title as well. So I am going to throw in a text view, put it right here. And for this, um, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. The focus of the video isn't really on creating or adding titles. You can check out the last video for that. So I already have some code ready. And this is just for like the styling here. Um, I'm actually going to minimize this so you guys can see more of it. But uh, it is just italicized and this is just the text view. Um, and I guess we also want to put in a button for the next. And so for the button, I'm going to add in the text, which just replacing this is just says next. And I'm just going to make sure it's aligned horizontally. Um, so now you can see like it is horizontally all aligned, at least within the layout validation. So right here in the middle is kind of like the focus of this video today. So I didn't want to spend too much time on the other parts. But here is where we're going to add our list of hobbies and we're going to turn it into a scroll view. So the very first thing we're going to start off by writing is scroll view. And I guess we could type it in right underneath the text. So I'm going to start off by writing scroll view and add this in. So now it looks like this. So for the layout width and height, I'm just going to set it to 0 dp, 0 dp. And in here, um, I guess like for the layout margin, from what I've like tested from before, 16 dp works. But that's not really a big deal. But I do also want to write an ID for the scroll view. So I'm just going to call this um, scroll view. And inside of here, I want to present this as cards. So we're going to work with a linear layout structure. So within this linear layout, we're going to have two different texts. So here for layout width, we're going to actually, so this is going to be the overarching linear layout. And um, the layout width is going to match parent, the layout height is going to wrap content. And for this, I want to make sure that I have an ID in place. So this ID is going to be called hobby list. And for the orientation, so we can either set it to have a vertical orientation or a horizontal one. So we want this to be all vertically aligned. So maybe I can, so the reason why we've set it as vertical 
is because we want the cards to be stacked up one on top of each other. And so the overall layout should be vertical. And for the individual cards itself, because we have two text over here, they're also going to have the orientation as being vertical. Um, if you'd want it to be side by side is when you would choose it to be horizontal. But in our case, we're just going to work with vertical. So I've set it in as vertical over here. Now for the individual cards, I'm going to write this in as a linear layout. And um, for the layout width, I'm also going to write match parent. So this is going to match the parent above it, which is the this linear layout here. So this layout width is also match parent. So it matches the scroll view. So like this parent is this and so on and so forth. A layout height is going to be the same. So it's going to just be wrap content. And um, to get some color into this, I am going to write this background in as here. So it has a slight color to it. You can't really see it because there really isn't anything in. And I'm also going to add some padding. Um, for the padding, I'm going to write this in as 16 dp. And don't forget to set the orientation to uh, vertical. And so inside of here, I am going to write um, two text views. So the first text view is going to be like our title. And then our second text view is going to be a really short description. So for here, I am going to write in text view. And OK. So for the text, I am going to write in here as the beginning pixel art and the layout width is going to be wrap content. And this other one is going to be wrap content. Okay. You can't really see it. That's because we need to make some uh, adjustments as to where the scroll view is going to be. Like the scroll view, if you click on it on the side, it doesn't really know where it is, right? So that's because we need to set some constraints first. So we're going to constraint our scroll view to be um, between this and this. So for this, it's called text view. Let's actually quickly refactor this. So I'm going to right click, click on rename, and we're going to change this to title view. So it's it has an easy description. And for this, rather than calling it button two, we're going to refactor it to um, just the next button. Okay. And we need to make sure that the scroll view is right in the middle of these two. Um, so for that, what we're going to do is when I go to my scroll view, I'm going to set one of the constraints, which is bottom, constraint bottom to the top of. And we're going to constrain it, the bottom, to the top of next button. So this goes to show that we want to make sure it's right above this next button. And for the other one, we want to make sure that the side by side, so like both of these left and right sides are constrained to the end of the screen. So I'm going to write end to end of um, parent. So you can write parent here. So now it's constrained to one side and then constraint start. Or if I just write start to start of this one right here and I write parent, you can see now it's side by side. and you want the top of this to be constrained to the bottom of this. So for that, we're going to write top to bottom of title view right here. So now you can see it shows up. So now this is all um, constrained. Now you can see that if you want to constrain these ones as well, you can just, it's easier here. You can just click on horizontally. And then this one as well, you can cons uh, click on this as, sorry, click on this as vertically. You can also do this here. You can click on center and then vertically as well. And you can see that you it shows up and we have our pixel view right here. Um, so that is one thing. I also want to make sure that for this view, um, I am going to increase the text size a little bit. So I'm going to write text size and I'm going to write 16 SP. And then I'm also going to make sure that the style is bold. So let me just write text style. And we're going to write bold here. 
So that's for the first text view. We also want to add another text view in. So I'm going to write another text view. It's also going to be the same thing as above. So um, we're going to make sure that this is wrap content, wrap content. And I'm just going to end write the closing tag. If you don't see the closing tag show up, just if you type this symbol in and click enter, it will show up. And so for this text right here, I'm just going to write, I love making animations. So this is just some prepared uh, text from before. And the text size, I'm just going to write this in as 14 SP. And so you can see we have our first card over here. And for the other cards that you want to add, I would just recommend like you can do a simple copy paste. So just copy the linear layout structure. So from one end of linear layout to the other end, just copy it. And then just simple, simply do like a paste. And you'll notice that um, isn't like a lot of gaps in between. So to fix this issue, what you can do is in your second linear layout over here, what you can write is um, what you can write is margin bottom and you can set this to 12 display pixels. So what it does is that at the very bottom, it sets a little space in between. You can increase this by increasing the number of display pixels. So if you see 13 or if you try like 20, it's a lot larger. I'm just going to stick with what I had before, which is just a small space in between. Now for the other ones, I'm just going to write something different. Um, so like here, I'll write coding and um, let me add this in so we don't waste too much time. So I'm in here, I'm just going to write, I love coding up cool projects. And we're just going to continue this for the other ones. So just make sure when you do write the margin bottom, you add that into the other ones as well. And so that they all have a slight bottom margin. Now your last one doesn't really need it. Um, but you can play around with the layout to see whether or not it's something that you need. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this in. Um, let's just make the third one slightly different. And then for the other ones, I'm just going to use the lorem ipsum method, which is just like a filler in between. So I think it's this one, which is the third one. And I'm just going to say I love painting. And for the other ones, I'm just going to use the lorem ipsum layout. So don't mind me while I copy and paste this in. And I will just continue to add more lorem ipsums in here. So this is just me copying and pasting it a few times. And you can feel free to fill it out with your hobbies of choice, but you'll start to notice that there is a scrolling feature that now comes into effect. And if you just drag your mouse down the screen, you will see that you can scroll through, which is a pretty cool feature on Android Studio. And yeah, that is pretty much it for the scroll view. And thanks for watching. Bye.